okay so our browser package is installed and we are getting this admin panel so let's see how to configure some things into our application so let's directly go to the code and let's see what is appearing after installing of Voyager. so let's go directly into the configuration section so if you just go inside the config and Voyager, so there is a Voyager hooks Voyager.php. so basically this is the configuration path and also the file system.php so after installation of Voyager, these are appear okay so first let's go to the Voyager.php and let's see what is inside this so as we open this section so you can see the configuration here so here we can specify Voyager user configuration and let's go to the controller section so you can set the namespace of the controller so suppose you want to set your controller in defined folder or defined namespace that time you can use these things and simply in the same way in the model section also you can specify this or if you don't want to do so you simply just leave this part and here this is the storage is disk publics so actually this folder will use so if you just go inside here so just collapse these things and inside the storage we have a public so storage and there is a public so you can see there is some folders also created so pages and there is some post okay so these all are created as we are specified the disk as a public if you want to save your resource in the different folder you can change here right and there is some hidden files here you can specify if media manager can show hidden files like git ignore or you can set the sd access or anything so right so you can add this and the next thing is database manager so here you can specify the voyager database setting so here is basically the tables and this is all the table basically after the installation of Voyager we are getting right and the autoload migration is true if you want to set it false you can do and the one of the important thing is multilingual configuration okay by default it is false and the default is set as en okay so if you want to change in others language so make sure you enable is true and the local is will be changed right so that time if we just enable these things that will not call actually this will call from this local is right and the next things is the database configuration part so you can create your separate array for this like inside the navigation items we have some profiles we have some homes we have logout so let's see similar will get so if we just go inside here we can see the profile home logout basically all these things are appearing from here and we have the widget section so if we just go inside the dashboard so we are already in dashboard so we can see there are three widgets right and see so we can manage these things from here and there is some bread actually the bread is basically the voice are provided this name actually we are using the crowd crowd means create rate update delete so bread means is the same but before browser actually boys are added this bread and they are using these terms in every cases okay so here you can add the add menu item is true the default menu is admin and permission true and default role admin so if you want to change you can change so the default role if you want to add the default role is teacher we can add this teacher right and the primary color so as we are saying this is simply a primary color so slight blue and if you just change this the theme will be changed and so dev tips so basically true if we make it false that that time the development tips will not use basically if this is true the thing is appearing so if we just go inside the tools inside the menu we can see these things basically this is for dev tips so if we just make it false so just make it false 
and let's refresh this that time it will not appear okay so actually dev tv is responsible for that thing so let's undo and if you want to overwrite your default css suppose if you don't want anything or if you want to change something then you can add the custom css and please provide here the proper path and the same way we have a js right and uh, another features is the google maps or you can see the google maps key or here if you have any api key we can provide here you can provide the zoom map so all the things are very ready so this is the basic settings of the voyager app so from there you can customize your application right so let's see how the project is running so if you just click on the rules you can see these links are appearing so if you click on media these links are appearing so how this routing is working so if you just go inside the web.php so just open the routes web.php so we are getting this voice route sheet added so what is this so we'll come with the next video so please comment if you have any queries about this video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye